tournament. Yeah. Probably the best ultimate player that we've seen thus far. Obviously, this is the first Super Major. A lot of things can change, but Tweak has just seemed like he's on another level. Have to see how the Wario fares in this matchup. Yeah. And like you were saying, these guys are very good friends, have known each other for a very long time on the same team previously. Bayonetta versus Wario have to see how much they can kind of take advantage of each other's habits and play styles. Because if you play somebody a lot, that is a thing. Oh, absolutely. Definitely going to be a thing. All right. Already, Zach off to the races, getting good amount of damage. The ABK gets a mix up on that landing. Good stuff. Again, the damage already at 86%. And this is something that Bayonetta can still do. Yeah. She can still do a ton of damage. Some of her combos are even uh, easier in certain aspects. She got back a pre patch dive kick if they hit a grounded opponent too. So she does have a lot of combo tools, but really it's the neutral and the kills. How is she going to kill you ultimately? Yeah, that's what it comes down to. It feels like she can still get those 60, 70% uh, you know, the yeah, combos, yeah, yeah. but like we just saw, Tweak was just at 90. Meanwhile, Zach was at zero, and now Tweak has just racked it all back up after a few neutral exchanges, and now Captain Zach is trailing. Yeah, man, a couple of round of applause and then a slap, and you're done. <laughs> that puts you in such a bad position when you're off stage against Wario. Yeah. All you have to do is throw out that board tilt and just get clapped up. Speaking of claps, no, he doesn't get it, doesn't go for it that time, but finally, it's that free bread and butter. Of course, and this is a scary thing because this is the flow of a Wario. Get his position and you lose your first stock, and all of a sudden you're in danger of getting hit by an up tilt or anything like that. Yes. Have to see if he takes Tweak to the top. Tweak, not sure if that was good DI or just unlucky on Zach's part. There oh. it is, the down tilt to dash tech. Oh. That is a confirm yes, on it is. tons of characters. And it's so good. Super strong. Waited for the air dodge there. Yeah, he, he tried to go for the command grab. The problem here, like you were saying, dude, how do you kill? Yep. This is so tough. How do you kill? And really the main thing that Bayonetta can do is, of course, that Bear is still fairly strong. Dare is still strong. The smashes are no longer a low priority, but again, it's going to be hard to hit that thing. And the Waft is on deck, and that is what's scary here. He's already up to 200%. This is so oh. rough. Tried to read the air dodge onto the platform, thinking that Zack would try to escape, but Zack doesn't give it to him. Meanwhile, Zack has not found a way to get off this first stock. Bayonetta just struggling. Yeah, it, it, it is a rough one, man. This character can really not find kills. 86%. Zach's got to figure something out. Like you were saying, back air smash attack is able to get through that bat within okay. yes. four throws. Still a kill option that yeah. uh, at that late percent. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you can, of course, now when you do go for a heel slide, uh, you will not go into the second hit, and so it's quite laggy. Yep, going to do the landing fair. Landing fair is basically the bread and butter combo starter, really. That down air wow. should kill, yeah. And, and like, honestly, man, with Tweak at 31%, Zach at like 120. In other games, Bayonetta might have been able to do oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But in <laughs> this not, one, not at all. there's really, like, the wing condition. I don't even, you have to hit Wario off his bike twice. Yes. Like, that's not happening, especially against the player of the caliber of Tweak. So, Zach going to lose that first game, wondering if we're going to see a character swap. I, I think the Bayonetta is, it, he's a very good player, like we saw before, same with Tamim, but this character at this level of play just really struggles. Yeah, there we like go, this. we're I out like the daisy. This. Like this. Yeah. And this is the thing, all right? I understand you gotta make a point. I know for a lot of Bayonetta mains because a lot of people just oh, disregard their skill yeah. and they just feel like they have to play they have to play this character. Some of them actually do generally just love the character and they just want to play sure. the character. But I think at a certain high level, you got to look at yourself and be like, hey, I'm trying to go to the next step. I'm trying to, I can make a career right now at this turn if I do well. So you got to do what you got to do. I respect this play. Well, you got to look at it this way, right? He got up to winner's round at top 64, going what I assume all Bayonetta. At this point, you can start pulling out the big guns because anybody that's complaining online, you've outplaced them anyway. So right. who cares? Yeah. So here we go, final destination. I think he wanted to limit uh, Tweak's landing options. Doesn't want to give him the platforms either to go for clap combos. True. So here we are. Zach currently has Tweak trailing just a bit, but nothing too crazy, especially since Peach is considerably lighter. I'm sorry, Daisy, right. whatever. Considerably lighter yep, exactly. than Mario. <laughs> oh, that chase. Oh, not going to get anything. He's going to wait. Love the patience. Looking for a down tilt there. At least showing his cards. Throwing the bike, trying to find the hit. There we go. The back air gets the bike off the stage. 
And I'm a little surprised by that. I, I've, I've heard conflicting opinions about whether to get rid of the bike or leave it on, because obviously uh, Wario doesn't have that option if it's on the stage. Exactly. But if it is on the stage, you can extend hitboxes, especially the walk. Yep. can be super devastating. Yeah, I personally feel that it's usually a good place to leave it on stage. Uh, it, it, even if when you're in a bad state, then it's like, okay, I can now force them on the other side of the stage, and they're not going to have the bike as an option. It's going to be that I can potentially get an edge guard there. Yeah. Good dash attack by Tweak, 136%. And this is a character that can kill. The problem, Ooh, though, is that blast. he's going to have to find a way to get this forward air in. Nice. Yeah, little, that, that, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Little, it didn't really <laughs> yep. lead the yeah, but it, it looked didn't nice. Any, yeah, it definitely looked nice. Oh, but that crown will. Slaps the bike and Wario. Oh, that's damage. Oh, yeah, he wanted to go for the back throw there. Yeah, not as much as he wanted, but still some free damage. Good stuff. Yeah, still looking clean. And again, a missed loft confirm by Tweet. Kind of a rare miss on his part. We don't yep. see him dropping those very often, but True. Zach. Uh, having the Ooh, I like that, man. Going for these up air uh, fastballs. Uh, you can do a FC uh, up air fastball, and it can pull them back down. Uh, going through another down tilt, yeah. and then from there going to another up air or anything like that as well. So I love the setups we've seen from Zach. The pressure. Yeah, he's super good at pressuring Tweak Shield. I don't know if he's as strong as somebody like Simsor in terms of his like getting a conversion off zero yeah. and getting like 60, but his neutral game looks very strong. Unfortunately, air dodges into that forward tilt and Zach is on his winner's bracket stock right now True. if he can't figure this out. Oh, actually, I do believe we are in best oh, of five, so oh, he it's will best have one opportunity. Okay. You're right, right. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, a stitch. Right now, 143% on Tweak, who's holding onto the stock for dear life. He knows he has a waft coming soon, and he gets this free damage. Check, 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 oh, God, check, check, double jump is big. He's okay. No punish, either. Yeah. Like, like, usually you'll take a little bit of percent, but right. Tweak letting him back to the stage. Again, that waft should be ready. I think it's a kill move now. Check, 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 check. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah. Down the throw. Uh, okay, bike. I mean, you see Tweak doing the down throw because the back throw does like 8%. It yeah. does nothing, yeah, but they send him the same place, so exactly. it doesn't matter. Good forward air there by Tweak, and finally Captain Zach shaving off that second stock. He is at 116, trying to pull a stitch, trying to find something to put him back in this game. He doesn't have the luck, though. Well, one thing we know about this character, man, this character has combos. And right Captain now. Zach is about combo. So you can get some damage right now. This definitely can be an audible. But of course, tweak, clap it up. That's going to be game two. Bro, I don't think I've ever seen that move kill. Yeah, I don't mean either. That might have been the first <laughs> yeah. one. Like, I feel like I always see it, and I'm like, that should kill. Yeah. Because, like, I'm used to bro, but it's like, no, that's not a kill move. Oh, anymore. yeah. Yeah, so tweak uh, up 2 0 on Captain Zach. The daisy swap did not quite pay off, but I do think it was the right decision. Yeah, he's going to stick with it for this third game potentially the final one. This is definitely the right play, I think. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, this guy is playing at a high level with his character. His movement is looking clean. Yes. I mean, it's Tweak. Tweak, like you said before, this guy is number one right now. This is what we're looking at. So he is definitely the bar. Back to final destination once more. Right now, both these guys trying to find the opening. Tweak wants a nair or an up air. Zach wants that. And he got oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah, he definitely got it. Yep. Dancing on him. I love the good movement. You sit back in the center stage. Yeah, both these characters just kind of... They, it, it's weird because they both want to whiff punish. Yeah. They want to dance around and force the other person to make a commitment. But Tweet catching Zach a little sleepy there. Yeah. That was a very early kill. Yeah, that was super good. And I, I love that Tweet held on to that too. I mean, again, that's another uh, indicator of a great player, right? Yeah. This guy... Before I was sitting on stage and utilizing his amazing uh, sled trapping, and then finally goes for a quick air guard to really just further the deficit. Zach really struggling against this Wario. There we go, the forward throw is just more damage for Tweak. Zach in a bad spot, but he's able to get back to the stage. See? And the forward throw. Keep in mind that Waft is on deck. I assume that he's going to hold it for the third stock. 
but we'll have to see. Bike is coming down. Zach not getting on stage and oh, uses the bike wow, for like the that. extended hitbox. Very smart. Yeah, beautiful Only 107 percent. It's not crazy considering how much damage Daisy can have to put out. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, but he's gonna get hit with that down tilt into the dash attack, and that's gonna close out the stock. Such a good confirm. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, we haven't really seen Captain Zach can't land any uh, down tilt confirms, unfortunately, or get any off of uh, the FC Nairs. Yeah, nothing like that thus far. Good back air. We kind of threatening the down air, but doesn't pull the trigger on it. Yep. Right now holding that stage, has control, but Zach fighting his way back. Okay, all the rainbows. Remember that waft is still there. Tweak finding it really hard to land, finally goes to the ledge. Weaves out of Zach's threatened range. Oh, oh you're done! Red wow. Pack two. Wow. Just disastrous there. Woo. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but on the other stream, Wadi 